Hey guys, that Mike Gamer back here for another video. Welcome back. This will actually be kind of a start of a series, I guess you could say. So I did a Head Coach 09 series on my channel before. And you know what? I, I think I want to bring it back and do it again. So I'm going to start over just because in case you are new to my channel. This is um, a kind of a newer series. We will be John Harbaugh and the Baltimore Ravens. But we're not going to be actually him. We're going to be a new coach. We're just going to, you know... You're gonna use the team, the Baltimore Ravens. So now let's go. And what should I make my team? What should I make my name? Um, we're gonna make my name that Muck Gamer. So we're gonna put that, and then we're probably just gonna put M U T, and then yeah, and then we'll put Gamer. So Gamer's last name. Okay, and no capitals. No reason to do caps, even though I think on my channel it is caps. So that Muck Gamer. Uh, coach one, coach two, coach three. Um, let's just coach. Let's do this one. I am on the Xbox 360. In case you're wondering, now unlike Madden, there's a lot of different options to choose for when it comes to your coach. You can be a commander, a superstar, traditional, or traditionalist, loyalist, guru, lone wolf. I'm just gonna go down here and show you as we go, but. There's so many different options, and honestly, I'm thinking that I really would like to be. Let me go back up. Hmm. Pi Guru, a humble, conservative person who doesn't say much, but commands intention when he does. Definitely think that's more of a good thing with that. Now, you do get skills, and then you get special skills. So let's go to special kill skills first. Um, as you can see, you can uh, skip through each one, but the special skills increase quarterback awareness. So pretty much it just increases your team's stuff about your team. Now your skills are stuff that personally you can improve. So stuff that, you know, makes makes you better coach in a way. So um, I'm probably one thing first off going to get the this one just because it overall is better for your team. Um, hmm. It also gives you a discount, 15% discount. So, let's actually just get all the special skills out of the way. They're like small, you know, ones like this. Just, you know, why not? Oh, crap. They get a lot more expensive as you go. I didn't realize that. So, they do get very, very expensive, and eventually it's going to get too much, but... As we get better down the road of being this coach, we'll be able to afford more. So, let's go with, let's go back to those skills. Let's upgrade some of these. Alright, team chemistry, which always is important. And, 3k, and then. 2k and is this 2k this is 2k so there we go we spent all our skill points so we're overall 13 skill wise and then we have five out of 44 special skills points available zero so let's get on with our team now when it comes to the whole entire thing i won't be, there's no gameplay to really show guys because you are the coach you do not control your players it's very boring to watch the gameplay so what i'm going to do is I'm gonna sim skim uh sim through each week and we're just gonna look over and recap on what happened with my players. So that's pretty much how the series is gonna go. We're gonna go in the off season. Um that my gamer, yep. And pretty much when it comes to like my player as a like when it comes to this game as a whole, you'll see how they do it. It's very, very weird how everything is organized. It's nothing like Madden. So just remember that, guys. It's nothing like Madden. And obviously, in a way, that's a good thing. But in a way, that's a bad thing. Because Madden is very well organized. And, you know, you can go to different things easier than you can in this game. This game, it's like, you know, there's a little option. And you're going to see. And it's like, new things come up all the time. And if you don't do new things when they come up, you're never going to be able to get a chance to, you know, do the things again. So... It's kind of annoying in that aspect, but you do get these, um, your roster, depth chart, health, um, and fatigue, ro player roadmap, progression, and roster breakdown. One thing I do love about this game is that your roster breakdown, or not your roster breakdown, uh, I think it's player roadmap, 
think it is. Yeah, so as you can see, overall evaluation, this tells you if your player is valuable to your team, expendable, which means you can get rid of them, or indispendable, or expandable, which means you can get rid of them, and indispensable, which means you can't get rid of them no matter what. So I definitely like the aspect. It makes it, you know, to actually teach you. Um, again, I'm going to turn off hints, but you do... You are able to, you know, things come up on this clipboard and you got to do them in a second. The timer will run down and if you don't do them before the timer runs down, you're done. And a lot of these players, these are from 2008 drafts, so you will see a lot of these players. Matt Ryan, um, sleeper player, uh, oh, what's his name, Johnson. I think he was, he played for the Bengals, he played for the Browns. I'm pretty sure he's even a Raven now. But running backs, Ray Rice is a sleeper pick. Uh, Jonathan Stewart is an overrated pick when in reality he's a really good player in real life. Uh, sleeper, Dante Avery. Um, Morgan Kelly, Oklahoma. Jermichael Finley. Um, I don't know what his first name is, but Carlson, Notre Dame. W. Adams. Yeah, I don't know a lot of these players. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of good players. So, we're going to honestly, that's all the rookies right there. And as you can see, a lot of these players you will see and you will know. So, if you guys can help me out at all down below by commenting and telling me like, hey, this is a really good player or, you know, I might miss someone because although I do know a lot about football and although I am a football YouTuber in a way, you know, being a Madden YouTuber, I don't know every single great player from the past, guys. I know it's hard to believe. My football knowledge is amazing. Okay, I'm not trying to brag or anything but egotistical. I know a lot about football, but there's so many players that I do not know about because, honestly, it's impossible to know every single great player from the past. So, if you know somebody, you see somebody in 2008 draft that you knew, oh my god, this guy's actually decent to average or pretty good, tell me. Because then I can, you know, bring with my team and stuff like that. It's really good when you guys can help out. And I want you to be a part of this series as much as I am. So definitely make sure, you know, you become a part of this series. So these are pretty much the important dates. We have the all season begins, the NFL scouting combine, franchise tag deadline, all FA tender deadline, free agency begins, pro day scouting, and yeah, so... NFL draft, starting training camp, preseason, regular season, tread deadline, senior, all star game scouting, Super Bowl, and then Pro Bowl. Hopefully, we can be in the Super Bowl. But obviously, that is a goal right now, and hopefully, we do achieve this. By the way, these videos, I'm going to try to make them 15 minutes long each episode. So, hopefully, if you guys want me to make them longer or shorter, tell me down below. Remember, the more you contribute down below, the better. Position, coach, higher control. Give up total control. Um, for my first season, I am gonna give up for, uh, full control to them because you know I'm just a coach that just came in. I don't know much about anything when it comes to the system or actually being a coach. So I definitely, you know, I don't want to go in and completely take over. Now the quarterbacks. My goal is to get Joe Flacco, but and I know Matt Ryan's gonna go way too early, so I'm gonna try to get Joe. Jonathan Stewart, um, McFadden, Chris Johnson, Rashad Mendinghall. Wasn't he a Steeler? Rashad Mendinghall. Bengal. I forget. <laughs> Matt Forte, Matthew Forte. So let's see. In real life, at least, we have a Panther, Cowboy, well, X Raider, and now Cowboy. Uh, Cardinal, X Titan. I forget what team he played for. A Bear. A Cowboy, Ravens, Kevin Smith. I think I should know him. Don't know. Don't. Steve Slater. I know Matthew Slater, not Steve, though. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Don't know. And probably a lot of the other guys. Oh, Patriots. Is it Timothy Hightower that went to the Patriots? Or was it um, Dante Hightower? Because I believe they had a middle linebacker that went to the Patriots. Oh, he might have went to the Cowboys. Cowboys or Patriots? I forget which team it was. Uh, Ravens, Justin Forsett. 
Let's see, quarterbacks, we have the um, Falcons, Ravens, Dennis Dixon went to the Steelers. I don't know if he got drafted by Steelers, but I know he went there. Uh, don't know him, but Jacksonville killed Henny to Chad Henny Jacksonville. Kevin O'Connell, don't know him. D uh, John David Booty. <laughs> He's the booty man. Um, Josh Johnson, that's the guy's first name, yeah. And Josh Johnson, he played for the Bengals. He played for the Browns. I think he even was a Raven. I hope I'm not getting him confused with someone else. Uh, Matt Flynn, he actually went to the Vikings. He played for the Vikings. I don't know if they drafted him, but I know he played for them. He played for a lot of teams. And wide receiver Jordy Nelson, of course, Packers. Um, Eddie Royale, Chargers. Donnie Avery. Oh, I forget what team he played for. Deshaun Jackson. Um, Eagles, Redskins. Earl Bennett. Didn't he play for the Seahawks? Pretty sure Seahawks. Mario Manningham, he played for the Giants, and he had actually had that amazing catch against the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Unless, no wait, that's, oh uh, no, that, that was David Tyree, that was David Tyree, my bad. Okay, so my goal is to get Jamal Charles, I don't know what round I should get him with, the second or third round, but I definitely want to get Jamal Charles. Um, let's see, anyone too crazy when it comes to ends? Doubt anyone too crazy. Oh, Chris Long is pretty good. He went to the Rams, I believe. Jason Jones. Um, D tackles. Glenn Dorsey. Cedric Ellis. Oh, Ellis was a Raider. Oh, he's a Raider now or something. Let's just add linebacker. Clifford. Hmm. Dan Connor, Curtis Lofton. Oh, he was a Falcon. Um, let's see, who else we got? We got Robert James, Mike Humble, Geno Hayes. Cornerbacks, we have. Lo I don't even know how to say that first name. Akeem Talib, definitely someone we want to get. He is a Bronco. Uh, apparently, it's about him. I don't know exact the whole story, but I heard he. Apparently they thought he got shot, and then now they're saying that they think he did it himself. Anton Kaysen, he actually used to play for the Ravens. I think maybe like one season or something, back up. Tracy Porter was, is, is that the Bears guy? I think it's the Bears guys. It's something Porter. Brandon Flowers, Kansas City Chiefs, and Chargers. Um, let's see anyone else we got? amazing how these players, you know, the Dwight Lowry wasn't that bad, but it's amazing how these guys are really fall down the list, and we know that they're really good. Lando Skandrick, uh, Cowboys, he's actually pretty good, and I'm definitely going to look at him when drafting. Um, I guess it's kind of a way. Hopefully you don't think it's that cheating me knowing the players, because I know which players are good and which players are, like, booty cheeks. Um, Zipakowski, I love him. Kenny Phillips, pretty good. Um, if I do miss someone and you're like, oh my god, that guy is amazing and you missed him. I honestly probably just don't know him. Kicker. Or either that or I just don't remember his name off the top of my head. So Jake Long makes sense that he's going to be number one. He's pretty good. Uh, Juwan Brown, yeah. Chris Long, Jonathan Dem McFadden, Cedric Ellis. Alright, so it looks like I will be wrapping up this video pretty... Uh, soon guys so thank you so much for watching please rate comment subscribe remember if you want more of these episodes i'm gonna try to make this a daily series on my channel i just need to make sure that you guys hit that like button keep watching these videos if you want to see more of these videos because the more views it gets the more likes it gets the more comments you comment down below and interact with the series the more i know you want to see more of this series and the more i'm going to produce of this series and that's pretty much how it goes with my channel overall with YouTube. The more you show support to a YouTuber's video, if you really like a certain series, the more support you show, the more he's gonna, they're going to upload that series because the more they're going to know, hey, my fans want to see this series. So definitely, if you want to see more of this, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below and interact with others and interact with the series. Give me ideas. 
every the more info you give me, the more like you know stuff you interact with the series, the better. So see you guys. In